a GCAD Plus user based in Melbourne, uh, Saintly Paving is its name, uh, has prepared this design. They're showing, let me click in here, uh, an example of the sort of work that they do alongside a plan for a new job. So there's some slate paving that you can see in the picture here embedded into a crushed dolomite path. I'll right click and say zoom extends. What they would like is a little more punch to the presentation. The simplest way to do that is to work with the construction layer. So if I go to the construction layer now and turn it on, construction layer is part of uh, GK Plus. Most of the symbols are there. So what I've done is if I select, say, this symbol here, sorry, I'm trying to pick it in layout space and that's not what we do, um, move to model space, pick this symbol here and right click and edit the block. This zone out here is simply a circle on a layer of plant construction so we can turn it on and off. But what we've done is given that symbol some transparency. We've filled the circle and given it a transparency of 175. That's in a scale running from 1 to 255. I'd like this symbol, because it indicates a taller tree, to be quite transparent and show the design underneath. So I'm, what I'm going to do is make the um, transparency set at 100%, which is a bit less than 50%. So what I'll now do is close the block editor and you can see you just see that transparency setting. Now if I go back to landscape design and we zoom in, can you see now that we can see the planting underneath? There is some uh, hatching through there. Um, I'm not a great fan of massive hatching such as that so I'll erase it and go back to the landscape design and zoom out a little. If we wanted to show, say, some ground cover or some mulching in that area, it's actually better just to draw a polyline on the construction layer and just fill it in the same way that we've done there. What I have done with this particular symbol is drawn a polyline. See, we've got a flexible outline rather than the rather harder circle there. Now, if we want to revert to the standard GK Plus layout, it's just a matter of turning off everything on construction line or the construction layer and we're back to where we were. So you can use that technique to give a little more depth and punch and make your landscape design look a little more like a hand-coloured version.